All right, what's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Got a really sweet video for you today. We're going to be doing a uh, building a sales funnel inside of Go High Level from start to finish. I'm going to show you step by step how to put this together. And uh, I did a training on this a while back, but I wanted to do an updated video because they've moved a lot of things around. They've added a lot of different features as well, which is one of the great things about Go High Level. Um, there's not much you can't do inside of this software. It's pretty sweet. But um, also, I wanted to go into uh, more detail and, and just build out a, a, a longer sales funnel uh, and show you guys how to do things like order bumps, upsells, and downsells. So that's what we're actually going to build. So not just a funnel selling like your main product. Maybe um, like in, in this video, we're, we're going to use, uh, we're going to be selling a course, a cheat sheet for the order bump. Of course, will be our main product that we sell. Uh, we'll do an order bump with like some kind of cheat sheet and then our upsell is going to be a consultation and then the downsell will be the consultation but broken up into two payments so i'm going to show you how to build all of that so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video but hopefully you find it helpful you know especially if you're just getting started with go high level and you know you know like this is going to be really good practice for you guys and that's the key to getting really good at go high level and being able to maximize its potential is is knowing what you can do with it being um, proficient with it so you can build some really awesome stuff so stick to the end um, also I'm probably gonna break this up into two different trainings because I'm also gonna show you how to put the automations together uh, like the workflows so that you can deliver all of these different products so uh, that'll probably I'll probably break that up into part two either way I'll have the link in the description to, to part two or you know up here on the screen somewhere whatever so uh, make sure you check that out. My only ask as usual, guys, if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button for me. It really does help. Maybe share it with a couple of your Go High Level entrepreneur friends as well that might benefit from this. I do have a two-week free trial to Go High Level in the description as well. It is my affiliate link if you want to help support this content in the channel. Again, if you find it helpful, I would really appreciate it. All right, let's rock and roll. Let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm going um, to go ahead and take the camera off here just do the screen so I don't have to move the camera all over the place. So... Uh, what we need to do first is actually create the products themselves inside of the system. And that's going to be under the payments tab here. Now, I'm assuming that you already have your products made like like like, you know, in this case, we, we're doing a course. So I'm assuming you have your course made the cheat sheet. If you don't have that stuff created again, I'm going to have additional training in the description that goes through how to build. Uh, you know, how to, how to build a members area inside of Go High Level, you know, using Canva to create really cool lead magnets, cheat sheets and guides, you know. So I'll have additional training to that if you need to create those types of things. So make sure you check it out. But uh, assuming that you have that done, we're going to go ahead and click on payments and then products. All right. So we're going to knock this out really quick. This is one of the easier parts. And uh, we're going to come up here, create a product. OK, and we're creating four different products here. We want one for the course, the cheat sheet, which is the order bump. And then the upsell is the consultation. And then the downsell is the consultation broken up into two payments. So I'm going to turn this off. I believe this is for the, uh, the new e-com feature that they have. So we're going to turn that off because we're not using uh, we're not doing e-commerce here. We're just we're doing we're building out a sales funnel using the funnel builder. So uh, the product title, I'm just going to call this test course. And you can give it a description here if you want. All right. You can, you know, add some media if you want. I'm not really going to mess with that. This is a digital good. And then right here, you do want to put whatever the name of your main product is. I mean, again, you know, obviously customize this to your business, guys. You don't have to have, you know, a, um, a, a you don't have to sell a course or anything, but whatever it is that you're selling. All right. Put that right here because this will actually help prevent chargebacks and refunds. Uh, because like when people look at their credit card statements and they have no idea what they purchased from you, what that is, they may end up doing a chargeback, which is not good for any of us. All right. So uh, be very specific about like, like just put exactly what the product is that they're buying. Keep it very consistent. All right. So for our course, we're going to do a one time payment. Let's say it's ninety seven dollars. Additional options. Do a price description here if you want. We could turn membership offer on. We don't really need this though, because we're when when you watch part two of this training and we create the workflows, we're going to grant the membership offer to the um, to the customer anyways. But just to you know, kind of have a backup just in case, you can go ahead and select the the offer. I'm just going to do we'll do my multi video marketing funnel and workflow. 
All right. So, uh, and again, um, if you are creating a course, make sure you check out the training on how to create this inside of Go High Level. But assuming you have that already, uh, let's go ahead and click save. So that's the product for our uh, main product that we're selling. All right. So let's get rid of this. And we're going to, well, sorry. Lagging. Pretty bad there. All right. We're going to go back and we're going to create another product here. Okay, and this one's going to be for our order bump. So let's turn that off. All right, we're going to do, uh, and again, our, our order bump is going to be a cheat sheet. That's what we call it. All right, uh, you can give it a description if you want. I'm going to leave it. This is another digital good. All right, and we'll just put cheat sheet, statement descriptor. Maybe we charge $17 for this one time. We don't need anything else here. And we click save. All right, let's go back, create the product for our, uh, uh, what is it? Our upsell, it's just gonna be, we're, we're just gonna do a consultation here. You can do whatever you want for your business. All right, let's do test consultation. I'm only putting test so I can delete the stuff later. Obviously you would not put that. All right, this would be actually a service. Okay, and we'll do our product as the statement descriptor. Maybe uh, normally you charge, I don't know, 300 bucks for a consultation. We're going to do 100, maybe doing like a 50% discount here um, <clears throat> as the upsell for them to take advantage of. So we'll do 150 in this case. But let's say maybe that's still too much. Uh, we want to break it up into two different payments for them. So that is going to be our downsell product. All right, create a product. And we're going to name this test consultation to pay. All right, that's a service again. And this time we're going to change this from one time to recurring. This is really, this is a really neat feature because we can control the number of payments right here. So we're going to do two payments not a trial period of $75. We're going to do it each month. So after two payments have been charged, it's going to stop charging your customer. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. It makes it really, really easy. We don't need to create any, you know, uh, what are they called? Uh, like recurring subscriptions or anything like that. It's just going to charge them twice and be done with it. It's awesome. All right. That's step one. So we have our products. We are good to go on that step. Next, we need to actually start building out the funnel. So what we're going to do is click on sites and I'm, I'm going to show you a quick example of one of the funnels that I use. Here's the thing, guys, don't overcomplicate this. You don't need to be building funnels from scratch unless you really want to, I guess. I never build funnels from scratch. I always like I'm, I'm not necessarily a very good funnel builder. I'm pretty decent at customizing funnels, though. That's it. Like uh, uh, taking a, a, a good template that resonates with me and then customizing the images, putting videos on it, you know, changing the copy, obviously. But from a design standpoint, I just use the templates. And Go High Level has tons and tons of templates that you can use. So I strongly urge you to start with a template. It's going to save you so much time. All right. So we're going to choose from templates here and click on continue. And again, don't don't overcomplicate this too much. You really just want to find one that that resonates with your business. So you know, if we're selling something here, we're offering discounts. Maybe we choose this right here. And then, you know, we got a checkout option, you know, just for the type of funnels here. <clears throat> and then just scroll through. Uh, you can also search by industry as well. And you're just going to scroll through and find what resonates with you. All right. Um, I kind of like this one, automation software, free trial sign up. Obviously, we're not selling software, but that's OK. We're going to come in and customize this really quick, uh, you know, to, to the products and services that we're offering. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. So pick whichever one works for you. Let's click continue. All right, it's gonna add those templates, all right? And then all we're gonna do is go in and customize it, guys. We're gonna change everything up to, uh, to what we're offering, what we're selling. So this first page is obviously going to be for uh, the, the, our main product. In this example, it's our course. Now, the first thing that you wanna do um, is up here at the top, just change up the uh, SEO metadata right here. 
and just give it uh, a title because like this is what shows up in the uh, in the tab right here. It's also good for SEO. I don't really worry about SEO with like with sales funnels necessarily. You know, if you're doing like blog articles and content stuff like that, you know, this is this is more important. But I do usually just do the title and description here. So I'm just gonna put test course sales page, All right? And I'll put the same thing for the description. All right, update SEO metadata. Put safe. Cool. Ugh. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Just didn't update yet. All right. Now, let's see here. So you can see that uh, we've, we've got a navigation bar here. If you already have stuff like this set up, you can click this and uh, scroll down to the uh, the different options, like the, the menu items, and you can click edit and put paste in the URL to go to that page. If you have a features page, if you have pricing, etc. I don't recommend it. Uh, it's just creating more work for yourself. Th this is mainly for like a like a main website. So I would actually just get rid of this. So what we can do is let's get rid of this element. We're going to click on add element. You can also click the plus sign right here. And we're just going to look for the image icon or the image element. We're going to drag that on and we're just going to put our logo here. So we're going to select it. We're going to scroll down where it says image. We're going to click this upload from media library and you're going to upload your logo. That's it. That's all we're doing. Make sure my audio is still good here. Mic check, mic check. Yeah, um, so I had uh, some bad audio issues the first time I tried to do this training. All right, so you upload your file, uh, upload file, upload your logo. I'm just going to double click mine. That's a little big, so let's uh, let's change up the width here. Maybe do 250. Ah, that's much better. All right, and then of course you can um, you can click on the section here. You know, if you want to change, uh, so like uh, open settings right here. If you want to change the background color. You can absolutely do that. Uh, where's that background color? You know, so feel free to play around with that. Uh, again, don't don't go too crazy. You know, we don't just don't overcomplicate it. If you got brand colors, then you can change up the 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 colors there. But just don't spend a ton of time on it because at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is our offer and the messaging that we're putting on here. All right. Now, um, actually, I should have shown you this uh, before. This is like one of the examples that I used. Uh, and, and I'm only showing you this just to show you how simple this is. Like we don't need to have like super sophisticated sales funnels that are, you know, that, that take an hour long to read, you know, just get right to the point. Like here's what we're offering. All right. It's a pre-made multi-video marketing funnel. Um, you know, you can import right into your go high level account, get it it's 27 bucks. And then uh, it opens up the pop-up. Uh, you know, here's, here's what you're getting, getting access to why you should get it. Here are the benefits. Here's some use cases. You know, maybe you know, maybe add some testimonials. That's kind of what we're doing here. All right, no, nothing too complicated. And then when they click on it, you know, here's the order form, and I'm going to show you how to build this in a second. Um, but I just want to show you an example of one of the the funnels that I have. It's it's really basic. It's really simple, um, but it works. So, anyways, um, what we want to do is start customizing the content on here. So, you know, if this image right here does not make sense for your business, change it. So we click on it, click on the image button, we'll upload from library, or you can play around with using AI to create some images for you as well. I'm not gonna get into that. That's a totally separate training. But um, one of the things we can do, um, either you can you can very easily create images inside of Canva as well. You know, lots of different stock photos that, I mean, you just type in the industry that your product is in and, and you'll get tons of photos that, and images that you can use. But you can also just click right up here, go to Unsplash and Pixabay, and let's type in, let's type in marketing. Maybe our course is about marketing, and we'll just see what comes up. Um, you know, it's nothing. I mean, you know, obviously these are stock photos, so you know, maybe we do. I don't know. Let's double click this one. All right. So maybe we change that up. I mean, obviously that doesn't look great, but I'm just showing you how this how the feature works. You know, find some images that <clears throat> that resonate with what you're offering you can do that in canva you can use the um the ai image creator it's up to you and then right here all we're going to do is type in what we're offering you know um get instant or you know learn how to learn how to generate a ton of leads your business using ai i don't know maybe your course is about ai Okay. And then you change the text here, <clears throat> simple, you know, like one liner description on what they're getting access to, et cetera. All right. We're just going through 
and customizing the, the, the copy on here. All right. Again, just don't don't overcomplicate it. Maybe change a couple of the images. Um, obviously, too, we're going to change the button here. All right. So let's click on this button. And then we're, we're going to scroll down. You can change, you know, the different colors on the uh, on the fonts. You can change the background color of the button if you want. Totally up to you. Whatever your brand colors are, you can also increase the the font size of the the button. You know, if you want to make it a little bit more prominent. Okay, all that good stuff. But um, we're going to scroll down, and right here is where you can edit the text. So click here to get instant access. And then maybe in the subtext, but only, uh, I think you said $97. Okay. So you can do that. And the button action, we actually do want to leave on uh, open pop up because that's where we're going to put our order form. So whenever somebody clicks this, it's going to open up the pop up right here. Okay. And we'll get to that in a second. But what, uh, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to copy this text and I'm just going to paste it in to the other buttons here just to update all the buttons. Okay. And, you know, maybe change up the call to action on each button. That's fine. I'm um, just, just showing this for example purposes. Let's go ahead and save. You do want to save your work every once in a while, just in case internet goes out and, you know, or something crashes, like you don't want to lose all your work. All right. Now, the other thing too, is as we're scrolling down here, there's a, this is a pretty long sales page. Like I was saying, we don't need all of this. I mean, if you can customize all of it pretty quickly, fine then absolutely do it. But you don't need to have all of this stuff here. So maybe on some of these sections, we just get rid of them. Let's just delete this one. And then, you know, maybe we don't have different pricing options. So let's delete that. And, you know, okay, you can have a frequent when they ask questions section. I think that's good. Or maybe you put some testimonials here. And then, I don't know, maybe on this one, uh, let, let's change the background color for this one, just to break this up a little bit. Okay, let's change it to that. And then maybe we want to change the, the color of the font. All right. So I think it's bold. So we're going to change it to this right here. And then maybe we make this a little bit bigger, right? So you just play around with this. And um, you can also make sure that it's good on mobile too. So if we go to mobile mode, um, we can click here and the uh, goal high level makes it very easy to adjust this because there's a mobile font size as well. That's separate from desktop. So very, very cool. All right. So, that's um that's basically customizing the page. Uh, all you're doing, guys, I can't stress this enough to just save so much time. So all you're doing is updating maybe some of the brand colors. All right, you saw how easy that is. Changing up some of the images. All right, you can use the image uh, AI or AI image creator. Um, you can go to Canva and get a bunch of different free stock photos and images, and then you're changing the text. That's it. That's all we're doing as far as customizing the page design itself. All right, and then of course updating the buttons and you know making sure that they're doing that that they open the pop-up all right that's it all right so once we do that next we need to actually add our order form all right so we're going to click on uh, pop-up settings here all right we already have the order form here but i'm just gonna i'm gonna get rid of this for now and we're gonna add a new one because i want to start from scratch so we're gonna scroll down we're gonna do a two-step order form i like doing two-step order forms just a little bit more user friendly and then maybe also we add a headline up at the top above the um the order form and it's a little it's uh kind of crammed right so what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of a margin here just to move that order form down give it a little bit of breathing room all right so and then we're going to do a simple call to action here complete the order form below to get instant access to the XYZ course, all right? And you know, this is not a video on copywriting and stuff. I'm not the best copywriter in the world. There's plenty of uh, free training on that on YouTube. You can check out, I'm just showing you how to put this together. All right, now next, we're gonna click on the order form. We wanna start customizing this, all right? So make sure, yep, we got a two-step order form there. All right, so first things first, shipping, where do we ship it? Well, we're not shipping a course, so we need to change that first. So we're gonna click on advanced, and you can see we're on step one and we can toggle back and forth between step one and step two. Pretty simple. Now the headline here, we're going to change. I just like to do, uh, what, what do I usually do for my course on this? Um, I think it's a uh, yeah, count, whoops, count details. And then instead of where do we ship it? 
uh, create your login credentials, something like that. Okay. So you can customize that. And then let's change the step two part here, your info. I actually just put billing. Uh, and then we'll put complete your order. Okay. Done. All right, let's go back to step one here. Uh, do we need company name? Probably not. So let's go ahead and turn this off. We'll hide that. Full name, email, phone number. We do want that. And I do get, uh, a, uh, actually, I'll change this from shipping to billing. Unless you're shipping out a physical product, then keep it as shipping. But I'm going to change that to billing. I always get the address. And the reason is, if you ever get chargebacks, this is good information to have when you um, when you challenge or, or dispute the chargeback. And then... Uh, it's, it also helps prevent uh, like fraudulent charges too. So I always keep this here. It's just good information to have. All right, uh, let's see, cart mode, product description, we can we can just leave all that. Let's uh, go ahead and enable the order bar. And if you have coupon codes, then you can keep this on. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Uh, I've got separate training on using coupon codes. We can enable terms and conditions here if you want, uh, which is pretty cool. A sticky contact, new contact in every purchase. I wouldn't do that. Uh, validate disposable email. Um, see, all of this is new to me. I, I have not seen this before. So uh, lots of cool stuff that they're adding. But uh, let's go ahead and add our bump product. But what you're going to see is we actually can't add the bump product. Even though we created it, we need to attach it to the funnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to save our work so far. And we're going to click back. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these so we don't get lost in a bunch of bunch of different tabs here. Let's go go high level. Come on. There we go. All right. So what we need to do is actually add the product to this step here. Actually, both of our products. So we're gonna click on products. Actually, before I do that, let's go back to overview. I'm going to edit this in a new tab so we can just easily go back and forth. And while that is loading, now we're going to click on products. We're going to click add product here. And we're going to add the course, which is the main product that we're selling on this page. We're going to search for the price. Okay. Price display override. This is what actually shows up on the order form. So only 90, so did we say $97 one time. All right, uh, we don't want to allow multiple and this one is not the bump product. So we're just going to click save. That's the main product. Now we're going to add our order bump, which was our cheat sheet in this example. Okay. And for this, we don't need a price display override because we're going to customize it actually in the order form itself. But we do need to let the system know that this is the order bump right here. So this is the bump product and we're going to click save. Now, actually, I probably need to refresh this darn it so and actually uh, one last thing before we finish or uh, continue moving forward is you'll notice that there's there we, we don't have a url here so if you ever run into that issue you just need to add a domain to this funnel so we're going to click on settings and then right here i already have a bunch connected but right here if you need to add your domain then you can do that here and we'll click save this is what actually creates the uh, or assigns URLs to each product or uh, each product, each step in the funnel. And what you want to do is click on publishing and you can always change the step name. So maybe we change this to test course sales page. And then, you know, we can make it the, the path the same just for simplicity's sake. And then I also like to update this setting right here, the end path. That's what I believe shows up at the end of the URL right here. So get that updated and you're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and edit this in a new tab again. Now we should be able to add our order bump to the order form. So if you ever run into that issue where you created the products, but you're not able to add them or see them on the order form, that's because you need to add the product to each stage of the, or each step of the funnel. So always remember that. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's uh, get this pop up open again. All right, we're going to click on our two step order form. There we go. Let's click on advanced, and we're going to scroll down. And now we're going to add our order bump. 
Okay. So let's do, uh, so we're going to select cheat sheet. Now we have it. Now the headline, OTO, headline, and headline text. So let's actually move over to step two so we can, we can see this. Actually, we're not going to be able to see it because uh, we have to, like as we edit it, because we have to save it. But our headline, uh, let me show you what I have set up on mine. We'll use this as an example. All right. So uh, let's do click on the order form and advanced. All right. I'm going to edit this. All right. Cool. So add the multi. Let's see. I've got add the multi video workflow to your order. All right. So uh, also, guys, just real quick, when you're creating things like this, it needs to be complementary to what you're already selling. Like you don't really want to try and sell a completely different product here. You want something that's going to complement whatever it is that uh, your main product is. Right. So in this case, maybe we do. Uh, so we're going to do uh, add the X, Y, Z course cheat sheet to your order. Now, if we save this, um, I, yeah, okay, so now we can start to see it, okay? Um, now, let's go back in and edit it. We want to put a, an OTO one-time offer headline. What did I put here? Headline, uh, that's, it's, I, I usually put the price here. It's only an additional, I think we said, so we did only an additional $17. Okay, so let's update that. Okay, that's the red part that is uh, underlined. And now we'll put the description of what they're going to get here. Like what, what is the benefit here? Uh, let's see. Uh, significantly. Uh, I don't know, decrease the learning curve or uh, let's see. Decrease your learning curve and get massive results in your first I don't know, 30 days by using this simple roadmap. We're getting started, something like that. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to do a copy training or anything like that. I'm just showing you how to actually create this. Now, you'll notice here it's kind of cramped. Again, we want to add a little bit of space there. So what I like to do is on the headline or on the description part, we're just going to add a little bit of a little bit of space there. There we go. Just to break it up so it's not completely cramped. All right, let's click save. And you now have uh, your order bump and your product ready to sell on this page. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Now, um, one other thing, uh, if you click on general, we do want to make sure that uh, the sale action is go to next step because we want it to go to our upsell page after this. So make sure that this is defaulted to go to next step. And then uh, we actually do want to customize step two here a little bit. So where it says edit shipping details, we'll just change that to edit billing details since we're not shipping anything out in this particular case. Um, I think that's actually all we need to update there. Yeah. I mean, you, you can customize a lot of this if you want. If you want to customize the button, I'm just, I would say just leave it. Don't need to overcomplicate anything. All right. So that's page one. All right. So we've got, um, you know, the buttons when they click this, it's going to open the pop up. Our order form has our products in it ready to sell. And, uh, you know, I'm assuming you have Stripe integrated and you have a way of taking payments. Right. Um, that's in the integrations part. But anyways, uh, you know, from here, you're just working on the design of the page, just customizing the text, uh, changing some of the images, maybe adding a video or something, maybe adding some testimonials down here, you know, frequently asked questions, pretty basic stuff. You know, this, this shouldn't really take you too long to do. All right. So once that's done, now we need to create our upsell page. So let's get out of this page. All right. And what I'm going to do is actually clone this page right here. So that way we don't, again, we don't have to start from scratch. We're going to clone this, uh, clone this step in this funnel. Let's move it up because again, we want this to be the next page that people go to after they purchase the course and, and the order bump. All right, let's go ahead and change the name here of the page. So we stay organized. So we're going to do test 
uh, what do you call it? Um, test consultation upsell is what we'll call it. Okay, update that step. Right, we will update the settings right here, the end URL, end path, whatever it's called. And then we need to add our product. So we're gonna actually add both the upsell and the downsell. And I'll show you why in a minute. Because we can actually do the upsell and downsell all on the same page, which is pretty sweet. All right, we don't need a price display override because we're gonna do a one-click upsell, guys. It's just awesome, I love it. All right, we're gonna click save. All right, so we added our upsell. Now let's add our downsell, which is the two pay option for the same product. Okay, and click save. Awesome. Now let's edit this in a new tab and start customizing it. Okay, <clears throat> and, and we're gonna follow the same process here where all we're doing is customizing the text. We, and actually I'm gonna show you how to customize the layout of the page a little bit because we probably don't wanna use the same exact page for the upsell, maybe change the color design a little bit, maybe change the background, um, but we definitely wanna to, want to change, uh, change up the layout a tad. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna delete this column right here. Boom. So now, again, you know, it's not a huge difference, but now we're starting to have a little bit of a different layout on the page just to mix it up. We don't wanna do the same thing on every step. And then, you know, maybe right here on the section, we change the background color this time, you know, to that, or maybe we don't even do that. We do, instead, we add an image. So maybe we change the image here and I'll show you something uh, uh, pretty cool with the opacity. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, let's do let's do marketing again, and let's uh, let's do this image. So that should update in a second. Boom! There we go. Now, obviously, we 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 want the text to pop, um, and we kind of can't see it very good right now. So what we can do is right here where it says background image opacity. We're going to click that, and we're going to do a heavy fade. Look at that. So a really cool little design feature uh, in the Funnel Builder. I love it. And then from here, uh, we can start to, uh, so we'll select the text here in the copy. And I want to center this. So we're going to go to text align, and we're just going to center all this. Okay. All I'm doing is showing you guys how to design this, how to play around with the different features. All right. So, and then, you know, maybe we make the, the font size a little bit bigger. Right here, just to make it pop more. All right, and what are we offering? So we're offering a free consult, or not a free consultation, a 50% a, a discount on our paid consultations. So, <clears throat> um, do you like one-on-one -on -one coaching? Um, to get. Uh, I don't know, to get results in your first 30 days. Okay. <clears throat> Take advantage. Uh, let's see. Maybe do 50% discount on our one-on-one -on -one consultation. This page only. Okay. All right, obviously put your copywriting skills to, to use here, but I'm just showing you how to edit this stuff, right? Now, what we wanna do, obviously change the button as well. We're, uh, we're gonna change this from open pop-up to one-click upsell. And we're gonna choose the product. And this one is going to be the, the upsell product, the consultation, and then our downsell, which is, we're gonna put on the pop-up, is going to be the two pay. All right. So we're going to leave this as a go to next step. Now, what if they don't want to take advantage of this offer? Um, and let's go ahead and save this. So um, update the SEO metadata too, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, what if they don't want to take advantage of this? So here's what I like to do, because uh, we need to give them an option to say, no, I don't want this, 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 uh, this offer. Take me to the confirmation page. Give, you know, give me what I uh, purchased. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a button here. So we're going to drag a button below this other button. We're going to click it. 
so we can edit it. And we're going to change this to, uh, I forget where it's at. It's it is advanced. Yes, under advanced, where it says BG styles, we're going to change this to line flat. So it gets rid of the, the background. So we, uh, we only see the text. And then maybe we make it a little bit smaller. Uh, you know, don't try and hide it, guys. Like if people don't want the offer, they just don't want the offer. It's fine. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, but we're going to change the text here and just say something like, you know, again, don't be an asshole here, but, um, you know, try to make them think twice, you know, when they read this, like, uh, maybe I should take advantage of it. No, thanks. I don't want this awesome one time offer, something like that. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is because it's a button, we can control what happens with it. Instead of just linking it out to somewhere, we're going to open the pop up. Okay. And uh, when we open that pop up, all right, so we're going to get rid of the order form here. And, you know, you can put a decent amount of text here or whatnot, but really all we're trying to do is, is say like, oh, okay, <clears throat> would it help if we broke it up into two payments, something like that. Uh, so I'm, that, that's just what I'm going to put. Would it, uh, would it help? Um, actually, let's do something like this. Let's sweeten the deal. What if we break it up into two easy payments? And um, let's actually bold that again. And, you know, add a little bit more copy here. Again, I'm just showing you how to create this stuff. All right. Um, but we're going to add a button again. Click it. Let's um, let's try and uh, let's try and make it close to the other buttons. Uh, see if we can round this off. Dude, no, okay. All right, well, whatever. Doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect? Anyways, we're going to uh, change the text here. Click here to break it up into two payments. All right, and obviously, you know, again, we're you, you would add some more text here. You know, we click the plus sign. We can add a sub headline. Uh, you know, we really want you to be able to take advantage of this incredible opportunity to speak with one of our experts to help you um uh, i don't know get results get massive results in the next 30 days whatever whatever it is Okay. And then maybe you talk a little bit about what they're going to get access to on the call, you know, things like that. All right. Um, but right here, we're going to change this, uh, the button, uh, like the actual call to action, to one click downsell. And we're going to choose our downsell product. And then we're going to go to next step. And that's it. That's how we add the upsell and downsell products on the same page. I really, really like this setup. And then, of course, we need to add one more button. Uh, in case they don't want to take advantage of this offer. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a little bit. Let's add a little bit of margin here to break it up. We're going to do the same thing with the, the style here. We'll do line flat. Um, we will need to change the font color, obviously. Let's change it to black. There we go. And then down here, we're going to do the same thing. No thanks. I don't want this awesome one-time offer. God, I can't type, huh? And then we're going to change the action to next step because this is going to take them to our confirmation page because uh, at this point, they, they're not taking advantage of the offer. So we're just going to move them to the next step in the funnel. All right, let's go ahead and click save. And that's it, guys. Um, at this point, you know, it's really up to you to, you know, the, the copyright, you know, do the copywriting, go down here, maybe, maybe delete a couple of more page, uh, like sections here. We don't need to go too crazy on some of this stuff. You know, you can keep this really, really simple. All right. Maybe get rid of that. Get rid of some of these guys. All right. And maybe this is it right here, or maybe get rid of this down here. We don't need a frequently asked question, but maybe, you know, right here in this section, you're talking about what the, what's going to be discussed on the call. You know, something like that. Okay. So it's uh, you're really just, you know, design the page, put your copywriting on, 
but this is how you actually create this uh, setup where we're selling the main product, the order bump, the upsell and downsell. Yeah. And it's just, it's awesome. And we only have two pages so far. Like how, how sweet is that? We're selling four different products on two pages. It's awesome. From there, um, we do need to do the confirmation page. This is, this is going to be the easiest part right here. Uh, let's go ahead and edit this. So let's do confirmation, confirmation, update step. Don't need to add any products to the confirmation page, but um, this page is really, really important, guys. So stick with me on this. All right, let's go ahead and edit this part too. Because the confirmation page is an awesome opportunity to get people to move to the next step in your process. Or um, he, Here's what I like to do is this is a great opportunity to get people to join some type of community. Okay. And uh, again, I'm going to have a link in the description to uh, on how to create a community inside of Go High Level now. It is one of the most powerful new features that Go High Level has added. It is awesome. And adding a, uh, creating a community or, you know, you could start with a simple Facebook group too, if you want, or, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to some type of social media platform where they can, you can continue building the relationship with them. Uh, but I really like groups and communities because it's a fantastic way to stay in touch with your audience and share content, share, you know, share value, et cetera and uh, promote other additional products and services. It's just a great way to stay in touch with people. All right, so uh, let's do, let's just, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this column again. I'm just gonna keep this simple. I'm not gonna worry about updating images or anything like that. Um, let's go ahead and align this in the middle. And you can delete some of these, like you don't need to have all this text, it's up to you. All right, but you know, right here, we can do something like, um, Congrats on your order, All right? And then we do important next steps. Please read because we want to uh, we want to keep their attention here and get them to take the next step, which is to join our community, join our Facebook group, etc. I'm going to make this font a little bit bigger. Important next steps. Please read. And then usually what I do here is I let them know that they're going to receive an email with um, instructions on how to access their purchase. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute, but um, actually I'll probably do that in part two. That's that's gonna be part two of the training. This, this will be just the funnel itself, but I let them know like, hey, check your spam folder. Um, if you don't receive it uh, with, within the next like five minutes or so, and I'll put my email address there, you know, just email us here at whatever your email address is. And then I'll put in the meantime, Make sure to also join our free XYZ community or Facebook group to get access to additional tools, training, and resources for growing your business, for figuring out XYZ, whatever. You know, make it obviously very similar and related to what they just purchased. But this is an awesome way to grow your group and grow your community, guys. And all you're going to do is click the button here. We're going to change the the action to open a website URL. And then you're just going to paste in the link to your Facebook group or your community. All right. Again, go through that training on community to see like what URL to put here, but uh, you definitely want to take advantage of this guys. Trust me. And then uh, we just change the text here. You know, click here to join our free community or our free group, whatever. Click save and that's it. Update the SEO metadata and you're done with the, with like the funnel itself, uh, unless you want to, you know, change some of the design here a little bit, but you know, a simple three-step funnel here, sales funnel, and we're able to sell our main product, our order bump, upsell, downsell, and you can sell whatever type of products you want in that guys. So really, really powerful stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. That's just about it as far as creating the funnel. So let's, um, Let's head back over to the camera here. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, we did that in, what, what, what are we at? Uh, about 45 minutes. So not, not too bad for building out a sales funnel. Obviously it's going to take you a little bit longer than that as far as designing it and, you know, doing the copy and, and changing the messaging and whatnot. But as far as creating the sales funnel itself, not a super difficult process, especially when you're using the pre-made templates that go high level already gives us. And I, I highly encourage you to do that. 
Uh, it's going to save you so much time, guys. And, you know, a lot of these funnels, like they, they look really good. You just need to customize them. So I would love to hear your feedback. Drop some comments down below if I missed anything. I mean, obviously, that was kind of a lot. Uh, uh, or you're confused on anything, you're stuck on anything, let me know what that is. I will also put a link in the description and the comments to part two when that is available. Make sure you check that out because we're going to create all of the workflows and the emails and stuff, all the, like how do you actually deliver this to your customers, right? So we're gonna do that part two. I just don't want this video, this one video to be too long. So I would love to hear your feedback, any questions, also any uh, requests for additional features that you want me to do tutorials on inside of Go High Level, let me know what that is, all right? Hope you guys are crushing it and I will talk to you in part two. See you there.